Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the HP 15DW1000 and what's inside of it. Every now and then, HP produces a laptop that has all its screws visible to the naked eye. However, this device is not one of them. In order to unravel all of the mounting spots, you need to remove both of the rubber feet. They hide five of the seven total Phillips head screws. Once you've removed all of them, you can start prying the bottom panel. You can either do so by gently lifting the base from the lid, or you can turn the laptop around. Whatever is more comfortable for you. In terms of cooling, we see a single heat pipe with quite a narrow diameter. However, we are glad to see conventional cooling, rather than a one with the metal plate no fan black wizardry. Interestingly, this budget machine offers a lot of upgradability options. There are two RAM SOTOM slots, which support up to 16GB of DDR4 memory in dual channel. As of the storage, there is one M.2 slot, able to fit both SATA and PCIe X2 drives. Not that it affects its performance, but it looks weird, being placed at a slight angle. Next, there is a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay for your music or movie libraries. Should you need to stay away from the plug, there is a 41-watt-hours battery that will power the laptop. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.